Hello, everybody. You are listening to Profoundish. My name is Alex Duquette. I'm going to be joined by Weston very shortly. And we're going to be talking about all sorts of things, uh, specifically bikes for a while. And then after that, we actually talk about very small, trivial things that can blow your mind. And then in the back half of the show, I put Weston to the test to see how well he knows his logos and pop culture stuff, or if he's fallen victim to the Mandela effect. All right, let's get going. This is Profoundish. Clear my throat. <coughs> Ooh, you sound like a motorcycle. <laughs> I'm just trying to I, trying to rev up, you know. Just gotta, yeah, just gotta get ready. Have you ever, have you ever been on a motorcycle before? Uh, no, I don't think so at all. I've Not definitely never driven cart. one. I've definitely never driven one. Uh, I don't even think I've sat on one before. If I have, I don't remember it. Does that do motorcycles interest you at all? So, uh, yes, if I'm playing a video game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I what go- video games? Have- <laughs> motorcycles. I'm trying to think of like Grand Theft Auto. Uh, I used to drive them in in, uh, Midnight Club. Cyberpunk. Actually, that's the only way I drive around in Cyberpunk is on a motorcycle. But uh, okay, yeah, huh? I'll I'll drive them in in video games. But in reality, I'm pretty happy to be like inside my tin can where bugs can't hit me or I can't accidentally just fall over (laughs) or whatever. I I don't know. People get hurt really bad on those things. Yeah. Um, so I, 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 I have a buddy who did. He got hurt really bad. So that that scares me. I'm not really into that. I've, I think one time I have this weird memory of being young, and holding on to a. In my head, it's a stranger now, but I'm sure they weren't a stranger at the time, um, because I'm I'm here and alive, and I'm here to tell the tale that I was not kidnapped. I promise. But I just remember. <laughs> That I was just holding on to somebody like you would, right? Especially as a kid. And I was on a motorcycle once. Um, and I think it was when I was with my dad. And it was one of those, hey, don't tell your mom this happened sort of things. <laughs> I, if, if I recall, I don't remember him saying that, but I'm pretty sure that probably would, would have been said. And, like, hey, let's, And that was just because little... your mom would worry about you being in danger. I, exactly. Exactly. Um, so I think... That was the only time. The the closest thing that I ever got in in terms of interest in a motorcycle probably was our our mutual buddy Logan. He used to have one of those like American Chopper bikes. Those were popular for a while. Remember those? Uh, like vaguely. So, do, would you know what like a like a chopper looks like? Yeah, it's got so like the okay. bike. I think has that like dip in it and the big handlebars or whatever. Yeah, it's like you sit really far back, like you're like. You're low riding, but it's a but it's a motorcycle. Right. Um, he had like a lime green um, bike, but it was like it looked like a chopper, and it was so <laughs> freaking cool. And I wanted it so bad. I'm over here with my like my little red huffy, you know, just floating on by, and just like nothing. And then he's over there with his fancy smancy mint green. I'm still jealous about it. I always wanted his bike, and then. <laughs> I yeah. had my bike stolen. Oh, like like a month or two later, just in our little hometown. Now I th- I know why. <laughs> because I don't even know why I'm telling you this. I'm just thinking about it. Yeah, I, uh, I that, yeah. I I left it. <laughs> so like it, so it was at my dad's house, and um, I for some reason I so like you know when you're a kid you don't like worry about putting your bike somewhere. You just like once you pull up to the house. I just like let it lay wherever it was, right? That's just what I did. I didn't care. And yeah, I, I wasn't did that, like but... that. <laughs> you weren't like that. No, we had a kickstand and I had to make sure it was set somewhere like properly and like I was not the just dump your bike in the yard type of type of kid. Well, 
was this taught? Was it like, hey, if you're gonna have a bike, you need to have like be responsible. Here's what you do with it. Was it I don't kind of a taught it thing? Being taught, but it must have been taught, surely. Because the way I, because in my head, if I were to look at you and me from a distance. I would think that I'd be the one who wants to make sure that it's prim and proper, put up in the corner, everything's gone, done right there, or whatever. And then you'd be like, eh, whatever. But then again, maybe not. I just don't see myself doing that, but then again, I don't see myself doing it now, but I guess I was like 12 or whatever. So anyway, what happened was I apparently just got distracted in my backyard, but near the alley. So I like just kind of kicked it over, and it's kind of close to the alley, but still kind of in our yard. But close enough to the alley to where I'm assuming somebody came by, like down that alley, and thought, "Oh, they're getting rid of this." And oh, they took it. I think. Yeah, maybe because um, I that's where I remember last seeing it. I was so devastated, and I went up to and I remember talking to, to our friend Logan, and I was like, "Man, it really sucks. If only I could, you know, <laughs> borrow a bike. I wish one of my friends had a bike I could borrow and, and he, never give he back, never, <laughs> and, and never give back, right?" So basically, the moral of the story is. If you have your bike stolen, go steal your friend's bike. Well, that's not even the moral because you didn't even do that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, don't. That's that's the moral. Just don't. Just don't. You know. I just that's didn't the, do it. It's the moral. I do just as I say, not as I do. I didn't have the guts yeah, exactly. to be uh, to be a bad boy, <laughs> stealing <laughs> bikes, riding around bike choppers. I don't even know what brand of bike you said. Huffy earlier. I don't know anything about bike brands. I have had maybe a couple bikes ever or whatever but it was always a bike that like my dad bought or maybe my mom my parents bought us bikes my brother and i or whatever because there Mm -hmm. was a point when we got older where we wanted to like our bikes were a little bit more serious right they could like change gear and you had the front and the back brakes and we'd ride them when we went camping and we'd ride them on trails and stuff not like not like mountain biking trails or anything like that we were just easy stuff or whatever but um, I right. have no idea what kind of bike it was. It was a bike bike. It was a bike. Was it? <laughs> I, I was, I was, I was going to ask you that, too. I was going to be like, you know, was it Huffy? Was it Mongoose? That was another big one. I have time. no Mongoose. idea. So I can't, I can't even hazard a guess. <laughs> that's hilarious to me because I don't even know why I know, remember mine, but I remember I had a blue Mongoose, and I loved that thing. It was super springy, like ultra springy, and I loved that. And then I got that red Huffy. And it was just nothing. You'd sit on it and felt like you were sitting on, like, I don't know, just like a cement block. It didn't move. I hated it. I liked the, the shocks, right? I, I liked it being shocky. Did, um, did you and your brother ever do the, um, the pegs on the bike? And, like, where somebody would get on the back of the other one and you'd ride together? Or is that never a thing? No. Um, I can't remember. Did we have pegs on the back? I can't remember if we had a bike that did have those, but we never used them. Or if that was someone else's bike. I don't remember. I know we never like rode on the same bike together. That sounded sketchy as heck. <laughs> well, take it from me. It was because there was a lot of wipeouts. We we did that a lot growing up. There was always a kid in our friend group. And I'm going back to, I don't know, like second, third grade era, right? And there'd always be a kid in our group who, like, didn't have his bike that day or his tires were flat and he didn't have a way to, you know, inflate them that day or something. So there was always somebody who had to, like, all right, hop on, because we all had pegs on our bikes. So we'd always take turns with whatever the friend it was that didn't have a bike, and he would, like, hop on the back. So, like, his hands were, like, on your shoulders, and we'd just ride around. That, that was a thing. Or sometimes they'd go to the front, too. They'd sit on the handlebars. Yeah, too, I, and then, that... Like, you would, sounds even more sketchy because now the, the guy I driving know. can't even see <laughs> and and again like with the like the the tricky thing with having a front wheel brake is that it's so much easier to accidentally like toss yourself from your bike if you hit it too hard so i just imagine if you got someone sitting in the front of your bike and if they like let their leg dangle in front of your wheel and like breaks you without you like knowing or i don't know that's just so many ways that could just go wrong there's a lot of things you can like do though i don't know did you ever do this so did you ever so we did this so we would flip a bike upside down and then we would we had a lot of time on our hands i mean i I mean i'm (laughs) sure we all did but i guess we especially did but we would start to really like rev up the pedals right i know that's not the right way to say it but you know what i mean we're pushing the pedals really fast as it's upside down 
And so, so the wheels are going really fast. And then we would take things <laughs> and try and just see what would happen if we like put them against the wheel as it was going really fast. And so just we would wear take, out like, the tread on your wheel. So the next time you rode your bike, <laughs> you just wipe out. Yeah, very smart. <laughs> we were just hey, listen, we're listen, we're like a bunch of dumb ten year olds, dude. So like we had like we you know we were putting like cigarettes up there. Um, <laughs> we're a bunch like, of we're, dumb ten year olds. We take our cigarettes. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me clarify. This are cigarette butts that we found, not cigarettes. None of us were smoking. I thought you were going to say um, let me clarify. It was a different time. <laughs> yeah, let me clarify. It's a different time. Well, I will say that I bet you a lot of those cigarette butts were in my own parents' yard because sure. my parents smoked when I was a kid. And like. Eh, not every parent did, but like almost everybody smoked back then. So we were uh, always just a lot taught more that the did. cigarette butts were gross because you know they were in people's mouths and stuff. So I, I just always thought they were gross. I didn't want to touch them. You and I would not have been friends at that time. <laughs> well, probably not. We were we hardly weren't friends when we met. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already told that story. Yeah, just um, I was a very like typical like just snot nosed kid at that age for sure. Like, I am nothing like the kid I was. Like, I feel like there's some, like, remnants of, like, yourself. Obviously, it's always with you. It always stays with you. But it's funny because that, though, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't think I didn't do that stuff. But I did do it. Because now I'm very, I don't think the same way. But then again, you age and you change and whatever. Right. um, um, Yeah, we did that. We also did another game to play into how stupid I was as a 10-year-old. We also did... um, I think we just called it the like the roll over me game or something like that. So we would <laughs> no 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 I lied. That's not what we called. We called it speed bump. And me and my buddy, shout oh, out to Lord. Dalton, Dalton, um, Weston. You might have briefly met Dalton once or twice before. Uh, my friend from I don't know um, if in person or not. I don't remember now for sure uh, online or whatever because he's popped right. in on like, your streams and stuff. Yeah yeah. So lifelong friends. He's uh, from my my original original hometown. Shout out to Mazan, Illinois, little little dinky little town up there. Anyway, we we would run around up there, and we did this game where um, where we would basically lay down. One of us would lay down on the ground, and the other guy would run over the other guy with a bike, <laughs> and we call it <laughs> speed bump. <laughs> That's lit- We were bored. Um, we had a lot of time like, in our hands. <laughs> <laughs> we were like dumb. I don't know. That's that's so. Uh, did you ever play chicken? Like like in the pool? No, like with your bikes. Like you got two people on bikes and you would speed at each other and see who like didn't have the guts to go through with crashing. Oh my god, no. Did you do that? I like I like how you're like, "Oh my god, I would never." But you literally let people run you over with a bike. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was asking if you ever played chicken. No, we never did that, I but did you? I figured you were going to say, yeah, we'd play chicken, and I'd always win, because I'm used to getting uh, run over by a bike. <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, yeah, I, pro- I, I probably would have won, but no, I didn't. I think I, I think I only played chicken like once or twice, and I chickened out. I didn't want to crash. That, that sounded like a dumb idea. <laughs> yeah, no That's kidding. Like, I mean, it's I... Like the, yeah. the whole, like, yeah, we'll ride our bikes to each other at each other. It's like, the, like I'll go along with this, because you know, we're all having fun here, but I'm not. I have no intention of <laughs> of going over the handlebars. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I uh, that reminds me of a story when we were all riding our bikes together, um, and we this is around the same age once again. And I didn't mean to do this, but I think I was goofing off. We were riding into downtown, and I remember I should clarify for those listening: our downtown was like a block, so like it was it was just a d- tiny little downtown, so it wasn't that busy. But we were riding into downtown to get something, and I remember I was trying to like show off or goof off, and I was showing a buddy, but I lost control of my bike. And we were driving straight to where the post office is, and there was cars parked outside the front of the post office. And I remember I accidentally ran into a, a purple truck, just like straight on back of the truck. <laughs> I hit it. And oh, no. not so like and it hurt. I was in pain, but like nothing was broken. Nothing was that bad. But there was a mark on the truck. Right. Um, and. Now, I can't remember what the mark looked like. I don't know if it was a mark that could be removed. I'm not sure. Um, I'm I'm assuming it probably was. I didn't hit it that hard. But I remember getting so scared, like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You know, this is like 
this is like the child equivalent of like you run into somebody's car in the parking lot and like what if you don't have insurance and you don't know what to do you know what i mean right and that's like the kid equivalent so i did not know what to do and so did you run well, hit and run i hit and run i left <laughs> and so you, this is the part that I still can't believe. I was so nervous about it. My friend's like, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You, like, it's fine. No one's going to know it was you. It's okay. Let's just go. Let's bounce. Let's Meanwhile, go. the driver of the car is like w- watching outside of a window. This go down. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the crazy part. That purple truck was two houses down from me. And because later on, I remember seeing that same. It, it was a little purple truck. I know it was the truck because... I just knew it. I knew it was. In my head, I remember seeing the, like, the mark again on the back of it, but maybe not. Um, but it was two houses down. It's a small town. We had less than 1,000 people at that point in that town. Um, and I got really scared. And I thought, oh, my God, they're like basically my neighbor, and they're going to find out that it was me, and I don't know what to do. And I worried about it for days, and then nothing ever happened. <laughs> There's my story. Hit and run, Alex. Wow, I can't I believe it. I'm How like, old did you say you were again? Nineteen. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, was, uh, yeah. This is yeah, our last week. I'm a full grown adult. <laughs> yeah, full grown adult. You're not, um, last week, you're not nineteen. Well, you know, this is this <laughs> is a. I, th- tell me if this has ever happened to you. I don't know why I'm going down these. I just got these weird tangents. But I remember I was sixteen or seventeen, and I was in a parking lot, um, at, at a gas station, and. I don't know how this worked, but I think I was a little too far out into the road, and a car was coming, so I was backing up, but I didn't look, and I very, very, very lightly hit a car that was waiting to also pull out behind me, so I barely, like, tapped. They had, like, a like a, like a big SUV, and I panicked, because that was the first time I've ever been in, quote-unquote, any sort of, like, accident or fender bender. It, it wasn't even really a fender bender, but I did tap their car, so I did, it's- like, a thing where, like, I, I kind of looked out the window... Because it was so light, nothing could have been damaged, especially to their car, maybe to mine. But I remember I kind of like, I looked out the window back at them, and they looked out at me, and they said, you're fine. <laughs> like, cool, all thanks. right, see ya. And I, and, I, and I said, thanks. I was so nervous, and I don't think there was any. There might have been like a tiny little scratch on my car, like barely anything, if anything, but that scared me. You ever been in anything like that before? Uh, like where some like, like a not Like a little even... fender bender. Uh, no, although I've had someone hit me, um, but it was in a parking lot and I wasn't even in my car. It was at work. The parking lot was like iced over. This was in the middle of winter. And one of my coworkers that was coming in for their shift, uh, couldn't stop in the parking lot and bumped into my car and he came in all distraught and all upset. He hit my car and all this stuff. And I go out and take a look at it. And it's like some cosmetic damage on the side of my car. I'm like, don't worry about it. It's like, really? I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. Like, you know, you could get, like, insurance involved or whatever, but this was some kid. He was a teenager, co-worker, where I was working. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's going to mess up his insurance. I'm looking, I'm like, it's not even, like, the door's fun. Nothing's broken. It's just a little scuff or whatever. I'm like, don't even worry about it. Um, yeah. And he was, because he was so he was so distraught. And I was just like, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not doing anything with this. Besides, it was, uh, it was my previous car, too. And that was the one that I was like, I'm going to drive this until it runs into the ground anyway. So, like, by the time this thing dies, that won't be the worst of my concern. <laughs> right. a little scuff on the door. My, my feeling of cars has kind of changed over the years. When I was, like, when I was, you know, younger, 18, 19, around that age, I kind of cared a lot more about, like, having a car that I thought looked really good. Now... I will say this, I take good care of my car, and it, it, it's, a, it, it's a nice condition, it looks great, but like if something happened and it was cosmetic damage, and that would have happened 10 years ago, I would have been like scrambling to get that fixed. Just at the time, that's, that, that mattered to me. And these days, I'm thinking, you know what, if it's not anything to do with how the car functions, this right. can wait or never be fixed, I'm going to, because that's my take on cars too, I'm going to ride this thing till till I can't anymore. So, eh, Whatever, no big deal. If I, as long as I take good care of it, if little bumps and bruises happen, that's just going to happen. That's what happens when you drive a car. That's what happens to life. We all collect bumps and bruises as we kind of go along. Oh. We just, um, we just collect bumps and bruises. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's true. We do collect bumps and bruises. I, um, I, I have some great news about that. I am n- 
I owe less than $900 left on my car. And hey. I am very excited about that. Um, because that'll be a lot of money back in my pocket again every month after paying for this thing. So right. that's really cool. I've been like counting the months, you know, <laughs> like I just, oh, cause I'm at a point now where I'm like, th- for these last few months, I'm just kind of at this point where like, should I just pay it off now and just get it done with? It's like, no, I'll wait. I'm fine. I don't need to pay it off any quicker. Right. Like, well, it so. might save you a, a little. I mean, at this point, you're so close to, to to done. It might save you a little bit of interest if you do pay it off in one shot, just depending on where you're at. Right. A little. Now. Yeah. But at, but eh, at this point, you know what? I, I have other ex, you know expenses that are coming up that are going to be kind of sure. big. So I'm thinking I'll just let it kind of ride out. But um, that does feel really good. Now, you're what's the story with your car? Do you owe anything or do, I can't remember how I, I do story. not. My my car is uh, it was uh, long story short it was a gift from my grandma because my grandma can't oh, drive that's anymore. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I have been extremely fortunate and extremely grateful to my family. Um, my car that I drive now was a gift from my grandma, and my previous car was literally a gift from my grandpa when he couldn't drive anymore. So mm-hmm. I've just had family cars up to this point because I mean, I've only that's... had the two cars. Which I feel like, you know, we're, you know, you're 30, right? I feel like that's yeah. a really small number for for being 30 and you're on your second car. Because, like, I feel I don't like think a it's, lot like, of people, abnormally small, but a little no, small. No, I, I think it's on the smaller end only if you're someone who, when you got your first car at, like, 16 or whatever, you got kind of, like, um like a, a beater or a junker or something, you know, it's just some, yeah. something like, oh, kids just driving to school every day or whatever, like something that's not going to last super long, but like as a starter car. So maybe if you started in that sort of situation, you probably would move on to another car or two throughout your life by the time you're 30 or 30 something. But I feel like two cars by 30. I mean, that's two cars between roughly since I was dr- I've been driving for 14 years. So like that's only a car every seven years. That's not that's not long. I guess it's not. I guess it's not that no. long, when you put it that way. I I, I know I bet. I guess I'm on my fourth, but my first one was a junker. I only had it for like six months. I just feel like that's such a typical story for a lot of kids. Um. So I think it just kind of threw me up. Yeah. Wow. Two. Dang. Well, we, we probably should um, move on from <laughs> cars because Weston has a. Uh, we we don't need to talk cars with Weston's history. So yeah, yeah. If we start talking about cars, my car is going to explode. Because that's what yeah. happened last time we talked about cars. Is I got a deer ran into me, and then uh, yeah. I got a a a, 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 a a rental car that failed on me. It didn't work. And then I got a second rental car that someone hit me at a stop sign they didn't stop at. So like I after we talked about cars, I went through three cars. <laughs> yeah. It was quite the saga. I was like listening to it every time we talk. I was like, it just something else kept happening. It was insane. It, I'm glad it went I on don't, for a while too. I'm glad I don't really ride bikes anymore because we talked about bikes for so long. The bike would probably explode. <laughs> and didn't your phone explode a few weeks ago? When that was we a part the, of a game um, show, though. <laughs> the, the texting game. <laughs> That's yeah. true. We're talking. We're talking real life here, kids. Real well, no, the, the game show, we knew that was a risk. Before, that was just like bad juju <laughs> you put on me. I know. So we'll move on from that. Uh, I did want to talk a little bit about, um, before we get to our break, um, things that... I'm trying, to, <laughs> so the, <laughs> I'm trying to think how to word it. Weston, has there ever been anything that... Something small okay. that you... How do I word this? That, that blew your mind. <laughs> so what what I mean by that is like I was today years old when blank those oh. sorts of things, yeah. um, like an example that I think of. I'm just just, just, just talking about like things that kind of blow your mind in general, um, but are like very just kind of mini school in, in the scheme of things. Like something that blew my mind. Here's an example to get it started off. Um, like the life hack for cupcakes. You know what I'm talking about? No. What's the life hack for cupcakes? So for cupcakes. You can very easily, like it's meant to be this way. I don't think they're literally baked this way, but it's so easy. You can um, twist off the half, like like the bottom of the cupcake, just half of that bottom. Place it on top of the icing, and then eat it like a sandwich, and you don't get messy. 
I don't know that that's a life hack. Or anything. That is that a life just, hack. I feel like you're just doing cupcakes wrong. <laughs> no, that that's so convenient. That's you heresy. You don't get anything on your hands. You've never heard of this before? I think I have heard of this before, and I was equally okay. like, well, that's just wrong. That's just, you're making a weird icing sandwich, and that's no, wrong. I, no, I do it every time now. It's so convenient. It's like, oh my it, gosh, it's such a simple thing. <laughs> it's like... That I okay, that's almost it's not as bad. Like, so it's like, imagine oh, life hack for eating a hot dog and not making a mess put the condiments on the bun first, then the hot dog. Okay, I mean, <laughs> that just sounds silly, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that does that does sound kind of silly, but I mean, if it's less messy, I'd still do it. Um, hot dogs sound good right now. I uh. Uh, but there's kind of things similar to that. There was another one I thought of that I already forgot. You know, um, it's funny. Like, I'll see these things. They'll pop up on my Twitter or they'll pop up on just the Internet in general, whatever I'm fl- flipping through. And it'll be like, today I learned and it'll be some thing, some random thing. And I'm like, I didn't know that. I've learned that for the first time right now, you know, and it will blow my mind. Like you're saying, one of those small things. But then yeah. I'll immediately forget it the next day. <laughs> like, I've gone this far in my life yeah. not needing that, like, piece of information that when I get it, I'm like, oh, my God, that's so true. Next day, I have no idea. You know what? I mean, I think I just spoke to that, too, and I was like, I had another one, but I already forgot it. There it's were so exactly many that, that. I, there was there were so many things that I've seen. Um, in fact, before we did this episode, I was looking up a couple things just to kind of jog my memory. Um, and... I already forgot those again too. <laughs> but like I'm I'm desperately like looking through my Twitter likes or looking through like I'm trying to find on Instagram like anything that I've liked or seen recently and I'm finding just nothing. And I'm but like those there's got to there. be something. Yeah, I they know exist. the the only the only one that I remember which this one doesn't blow my mind, but the only one I remember seeing when I was looking it up today was um the in Staples like the L in Staple is like a bent staple. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if and, I knew that or not, but I definitely didn't know it right now in this moment. And like, yeah, I mean, that, that that makes sense. But yeah, I just didn't even think about that. That didn't blow my mind, though. But I thought that was kind of a interesting thing. Did staples change their logo now, or has it always just literally been a staple? I don't think it. That's I just went to their question. website and it's just their logo is just literally a staple. And I feel like it used to not be, but I don't know what it was. It's like, I'm about to have a Berenstain Bears moment right now. Like, wasn't it like an ass or something? Wait a second. Are you saying it's just a stable? It's just literally a staple. Or a stable. Staple. Oh, yeah, you're um, right. The staples on their sign is a bent staple. That's funny. I don't know if I've I, noticed I never... that or. But yeah, if you go to their website, their logo, like right at the top, is just a staple. Just there's no way that's always been there, right? Well, you know that's well, that's weird because there, the L is not. It's not bent. A, like they don't. They're not doing staple. the bent L staple. Thing. It's just a staple. Well, this is weird. probably in lieu of the whole like. You know how everybody is trying to make their logos as simple? Well, not everybody. Some people are going back now. But most brands keep their logos as simple as possible. The very minimalist kind of look, you know? Yeah. Everyone decided um, that no brand is allowed to have any semblance of character. You know, it's, it's, it's hilarious. We talk about, like, dystopian futures and one day corporate corporations are going to run everything or whatever. And it's hilarious how we all know that that's objectively a bad thing. Unless you're a corporation, then you're like kill the mom and pop shots let's be as simple as possible dumb down the names as simple as possible so no one knows who's anybody or whatever like, right i don't know it's like we're intentionally moving to the dystopian future i don't understand why this is intentional it's it is wild i i'm tired just of of the no personalities i i was watching a video of a guy reviewing logos like um just kind of based on like artistic merit and and there there was other like criteria too and 
the he did a few different videos on it, and one of them was like these kind of big corporate brands, and it was such a boring. It's not his fault, but it's such a boring thing to review because they're all the same, right? Like there's there's a couple though that are going back. Um, Burger Kings are going back to their old logo, which is really cool, and now it looks really unique because it's no one's doing that now. I think well, you know, someone else's too. But. It's annoying because you said they're going back to their old logo. Is it their old retro logo? Uh, yeah, it's it's got like it's like the whole burger, but it's like the old retro look of a burger. Yeah, because apparently nostalgia is getting really popular. This is a thing in the restaurant industry specifically, where apparently nostalgia is like popular enough, and even with the because it's brand new to the new kids, right? Your your Gen Z and everything. That all these corporations are, you're going to see it over the next couple of years, all of everybody's logo is going to go retro. And, and it'll all, all be the, the same exact again. same again. No one's yeah. allowed to have any personal character. They're all just trying to manipulate you. And no one really cares that much, but the corporations need something to do with their time. You're right. And people are going to milk that nostalgia. Because even, like I said, even for the younger um kids like the younger kids trust me i see this my my youtube channel is like heavily themed around nostalgia so right like <laughs> right. i'll see this all the time I'll, I'll see like i feel nostalgic for this thing but it's before my time you, you've probably seen it too like in comments somewhere like i for some reason i feel nostalgic about this and i wasn't even alive for this or whatever it's, like they they and people know like these corporations they absolutely know and it's because like nostalgia has become not a concept of longing for the past, but literally it's become a look, a very specific look from like the yeah. 70s or something. Like pick, a, pick an era and like that's a feeling. Nostalgia has become a feeling of a specific era, not just anybody's past, a specific past. Which in turn can like in like create like more marketing opportunity than before. Like nostalgia has always been a marketing opportunity. That's why there's remakes. Like, that happens. That's a thing. And But I just feel like with that added to it, it's just going to make it even worse. Everything... Listen, every, listen, people. Listen. <laughs> listen. Everything you see is... They're, like, it's catered to you because they want you to buy it. Everything is, like... Everything! I think about it. Even, like, back in, like... I, I yearn... I mean, I'm part of Camp Nostalgic, and I yearn for the... Um, what I what I like I always say like like cable like like what's it called programming like scheduled programming right like that stuff was all like the commercials were ta- like everything was still there to be sold to you <laughs> like none of that has ever changed people complain about ads on their phones and stuff they've always been everywhere around you always yeah I'm still trying to look up <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm trying to look up like the, I was today no. years old. It, no, it's, it's totally okay. It's actually about time to switch segments in a minute here. I'm okay that we went on this, this tangent about, about this because we both feel kind of strongly about it. It's true. At least if you're going to – listen, here's the thing. I'm not saying – obviously, this is the – you know, we are where we are today because of things being sold to us the way they are. I get it. But at least have some character. If you're going to sell some me character. something or try to sell me something, be a little unique. Because you're right, Weston. Eventually, it does get all going to go back to the, the nostalgic feel, and then it's all gonna, just going to be the same again. It's like that episode of Fairly Odd Parents where everybody was a gray blob. Remember that episode? I don't. I don't remember that episode. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that I do. In fact, well, there was an episode where like he, I can't remember what it was, but I think like he just wished I, he wished everybody was the same or something. And there was probably more to it than just that. But anyway, and then everybody just became a gray blob and no one could be distinguished from one another. And there was a lot of issues with that. So I don't know. There was, I think in that episode, there, at least to me, there was a much bigger message. But well, it's OK that you're not finding any I was today years old because you're about to be I was today years old id <laughs> okay. um, 11 times in our next segment. Ooh, um, everybody we're gonna be have playing- some homework. Oh, have some homework. Look up owl legs. All right, there you go. What's owl legs? Owls have long legs, but you can't see them. Owl legs. I'm going to do that really quick. Ew. Today years what? old. No I way. how long owl legs are. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Profound. 
Clownfish is brought to you in part by The Two Piece Podcast, a show where my significant other and I compare and contrast our top five lists on a variety of topics. Not only is it fun, but we also provide facts and trivia about our topics. Come laugh, learn, and listen to The Two Piece Podcast on your preferred platform of choice. Profoundish is brought to you in part by HastilyMadeDecision.com. Get your poetry fix from my poetry blog featuring haiku, senryu, freeform stuff, and more. Again, that's hastilymadedecision.com for your poetry fix. We're back, folks. Um, (laughs) Hope you enjoyed the break here. We're going to be playing a little bit of a Mandela Effect game. We did this once before when Weston had to guess if different mascots and characters had, like, facial hair or not. (laughs) <laughs> which was super oh, fun. Yeah. Um, and we talked about that when we on our 50th like episode special. And we and I forgot that we did that. So I wanted to bring it back. And this time we're kind of making it a little bit more vague. So hopefully some of these things will really blow your mind, Weston. Um, there's 11 here. I'm just going to ask you. Some of them are going to be like off a of brand. Some of them are just kind of various questions. Um, in no particular order, and it's just for fun. Your phone will not explode or anything like that this week, so you, you, oh, you'll live goodness. another day. Those things um, are expensive now. <laughs> could you imagine just every episode I start, okay, this one, guess what? Your phone's going to explode if you don't get this many right. It's like, just every Alex. two weeks, i got to get a new <laughs> phone because you're, like, destroying them. It would be horrifying if everything that we did actually happened. So I'm I'm, I'm glad it's... Actually, unless it's in the profoundish lore, then maybe it does actually happen. You know, I don't want to break the... Oh, in the lore, wanna, it absolutely happens. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, break the immersion yeah. here. Um, yeah. Weston, I think I don't really need to explain anything else. I think you know what's going on. I'm just going to ask you some questions, um, yeah. and we'll see how well you do. Are you ready? So well. I'm going to get every one of these correct. I'm curious how many of these you are going to get. Because some of these legit blew my mind. All right. Okay. Number one, so the famous peanut butter, is it Jif or Jiffy? Um, I know you see the logo. It's definitely Jif without the Y, but I feel like there is a, not Jiffy, but something E peanut butter that i've had before i feel like there's something like a jiffy like a jiffy ripoff that was like i don't know tiffy or something i feel like there is but uh no it's just jiff because i i believe jiffy comes from like jiffy lube like speed lube jiffy lube right so i think it's just jiff j-i-f-f i think there is two f's is that your final answer because i remember it being like in white bold text on like the like the square around it, I think it's like blue and red or something like that. So is that your final answer? Yeah. Final answer. Okay. Jif. So I'm going to, so the short answer is yes, it is Jif. However, it is one F, not two. Is it one F? It is one F. Uh-huh. See, that's the actual Mandela effect happening right now because I'm picturing it in my mind very clearly with two Fs. But also, I I want to take this moment to just say, well, that's the correct way to spell GIF anyway and not G-I-F like you maniacs on the internet. Oh. People that think GIF is said GIF. It's like, no, there's a letter for that, god dang it. Anyway. You're not wrong. (laughs) We won't get get into that, but I wanted to take this opportunity well, that could be an episode too, because there's <laughs> that, that that that's an ongoing debate. Shouldn't be. Um, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Like, there's there's no <laughs> debate to be had here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually thought it was Jiffy, so that was well. Like, I think if I just would quickly think about it, I'd think Jiffy, but I also don't buy it. So I, I'm just familiar with the brand. I haven't. I'm not used to seeing it in my cupboards. Maybe you're not either. I guess for that matter. But I, for some reason, I always thought it was Jiffy. I don't even know um, what peanut butter I have in my cupboard right now. It's just the generic, like, you know, off-brand, like, Schnucks brand. I don't even remember what it's called. It's just crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, I always get the off-brand stuff, too. It's cheaper, and it tastes the same. Saves you a few bucks. Um, all right, next one. The old, famous, popular cartoon, Weston, we all know and love. It's Looney Tunes. Oh God! Don't do this to me. I already, I already can't remember which one it is. I know what yeah, you're gonna ask me. How do you spell me. tunes? How do you spell tunes? 
I, Looney Tunes. I, I, I think I had this con- I think it was with my brother. I had this conversation with somebody and I was very adamant about it and then found out, in fact, it was the other way around. It was a Mandela effect, blew my mind, and I got very angry yep. about it. <laughs> but I believe, <laughs> I believe, uh, now I'm, I'm trying to remember which one it is because now I don't remember. I believe it's <laughs> Looney is L O O N E Y. I think it's E Y. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. That yeah, is correct. And then, and then Tunes. You'd think like T O O N S, like because cartoons, but I'm pretty sure it's T U N E S because music, because the Looney Tunes, when they were like new and coming about or whatever, like had like the music for the sound effects and the whatever. I think it's tunes T U N E S. I think. So is that going to be your final answer? I think it has to be my final answer. But you I are don't correct. Remember. Okay, yay. Good I used job, to be wrong. Job. I will say I used to be wrong on that. Yeah, put in my me place. Too. Yeah. This was one I remember having a conversation about at one point or another too. And it I was like, there's no way why would it be tunes? But I know why. I get it. Like we you just kind of alluded to it. But right. I thought it has to be T O O N S. They're cartoons, you know. Um but the thing so that is one's too, a pretty like, wild one. Not only did that make sense because cartoons, tunes, not only did it make sense, I could like visualize it that way. And then you know it and you look at it and you're like, what? Your brain just lies to you. It does. Well, because I I was looking at these when I was gathering this list and I still looked at the spelling of T U N E S and it looked wrong. Right. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like it looks completely wrong. Like the the wrong way T O O N S looked right. It's, It's wild. Um, well, we're going to stick in the television show category, but we're going to kind of change it up a little bit. Not cartoons anymore. We're talking the show that put Sarah Jessica Parker on the map. Sec- well, I, I don't want to say one over the other, so I'll just say, which is it? Is it Sex in the City or Sex and the City? Uh, for a second there, I thought you were like self censoring, like you weren't allowed to say sex because you were like oh, halfway no. through. Se- <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I can't say the no no word. This is going to be on YouTube. That's um, right. I'm pretty sure because I remember. I actually remember this one where everyone thought it was sex in the city, but it's not. It's sex and the city, and I never watched that show myself, so I don't know. Really, if everyone was like, oh, there's a lot of sex and it happens in the city and that's why they thought it was that way. I didn't really watch the show at all. I just knew it existed. Yeah. So I can say with fair certainty that it's sex and the city. You're off to a great start, Weston. That's right. I I told you uh, I'm getting all of them right. I told you. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We got a few more here. I think there might be a couple that throw you off, but we'll see. Because I was on daytime TV. No, well, evening to prime time. It was like prime time TV. I don't know when they played on TV, but it was on TV TV. It wasn't like the internet at the time, right? Is there that much sex in the show? I, I'm i not familiar with the show either. I, do I can't think, imagine it was graphic. I can't imagine. I think, no, I don't think it was anything graphic, but I think it was like the main, like it was discussed a ton. Like a lot of it, it was about sex, but it wasn't. Like, that was a big, like, you know, part of the plots a lot of the time. But I, I think it was more talked about and implied and less seen. I guess um, that's kind of a good point. If it was about sex a lot of the time and then they don't talk about city living, then it would be like, oh, it's sex <laughs> in the city. But if it's sex and the right. city, it'd be like, this episode, we're going to talk about, uh, uh, I don't know, role play. And then <laughs> this next right. episode, we're going to talk about urban development. <laughs> <laughs> It's literally sex and the city. (laughs) (laughs) That would make more sense, right? That's hilarious. Yeah, so this was one, once again, this threw me off. I don't know if I ever saw this one before now, but yeah, I always thought it was sex in the city. Um, But I was wrong. All right. Weston, here's another one that was pretty popular for a while, so this might be one that you get, or maybe not. How do you spell Febreze? Ooh. Ooh, I know I, I know how I'm picturing it, but now I'm thinking you're going to tell me I'm wrong. Because <laughs> you would think it's just f and then the word breeze. I, I'm thinking it's F-E-B-R-E-E-Z-E. Is that even how you spell breeze? Actually, I don't even know. Is Does breeze normally have an A in it? 
Well, shoot, I don't even know if I know how to spell breeze. Hmm. 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 I'm pretty sure things it's that a make breeze, you go, though. Hmm. 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 Well, there's there's a difference between things that make you go hmm and things that make you go hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's F. I think it's what I said the first time. I think it's F E B R E E Z E. But I feel like you're going to tell me I'm wrong. I'm trying to picture it, but that's the way I'm seeing it, man. It is spelled. I was a, I was a Lysol family. We were not a free Febreze family. I think we were a Lysol family, too. I don't remember. I can, I can spell Febreze. Lysol. <laughs> <laughs> right. L-Y-S-O-L. Um, no, actually, Weston, you spelled it correctly. Um, it is with two E's. Most people think it has one E in it. A one E? Yeah. Like, at, at, at the end. Um... A lot of people think, did I just screw this one up? Did I get I it wrong? I wrote it down it... the opposite. I put the right one in the wrong one. <laughs> All right, so you were wrong. Sorry. Spell it out for me. It is spelled, so there is one E. That is how it's spelled. So it's F-E-B-R-E-Z-E. Most people it's... think it's two E's, like Breeze. It's just E-Z-E? Sorry, that was my bad. That's crazy. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta, I know. gotta image this though. Feb- it, Febreze. It looks wrong. You'd think there should be two E's. It looks wrong. No, Google, I'm not interested in your AI powered whatever the heck you're trying to sell me. Okay, Febreze. Let me, I'm just trying to, <laughs> no, not the shopping tab. Too. I just want a picture. I just want a picture, guy. Have you ever used the internet before? Goodness. Uh, I am an old man. I. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm looking at it. looks wrong. That doesn't look right at all. It looks wrong. I know. It's wild. It's hard to argue with, though, because every one of these pictures I'm looking at is spelled the same way. <laughs> <laughs> or this is a really sick prank. This is a really long, ongoing... Hang on. What if I spell it my way and s- see what I get? See if I can get, you're probably gonna get you're probably an gonna get alternate Mandela universe. Stuff. Right. That'd be interesting. No, I still get just the correct spelling of Febreze. I had that one wrong. F E B R E Z E, everybody. All right. I don't like it. I agree. Procter and Gamble, I would like to uh, write you a letter of my disdain for your choice of spelling. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Weston, we have another one here. We're going to stick with uh, the brands, but we're going to switch it from things that make things that make you smell things Hmm. to. Other things that could make you smell things if you keep them on long enough. We're talking shoes. Um, okay, okay. How do you spell Skechers? I really was hoping you were going to say, how do you spell shoes? This We should have a <laughs> spelling bee episode. Oh, we're going to make that happen. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> I would love that. We would each come up with like a list of increasingly difficult words and have the other person try to spell each other's lists. Oh, it'll, it'll, oh that it'll be is good. awesome. Yeah, let's do anyway. that. Uh, Skechers. Skechers, I th- if I'm trying to remember right, Skechers is one of the weird ones where you think it would be spelled... So the word sketch, like so making a sketch, is S-K-E-T-C-H. I think Skechers doesn't have the T, though. So I think it's... I think Skechers... I think Skechers is S-K-E-C-H-E-R-S. Final answer. I think. But I also don't know if now that we've gone through this episode, I'm like hyping it up. Like, what's the weird way I could spell it? You know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I I think it's sketch without the T and then ers. So S K E C H E R S. I think. All right, Weston. That is correct. Yay! This one. I don't know. This one why. threw me off. I don't know why it's that way though. I did, I've never looked this one up. That I when I see it like this, I want to say Skeckers. <laughs> like I, like I swear that like I could have swore the T makes sense to me, but yeah, it's not there. I don't know why there. I know that. I don't know if it's just because it's not like their lo- their logo is like just the giant S on their shoes. It's not like I see the word Skechers very often ever anyway. And that's probably why this is the thing because you don't see the full spelling that often. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I drive by one like every day in the where I live right now. Like it's just or not every day, but a lot most days. 
And I just have always thought there's a T there. And on the on the building, it's, it obviously spells it out. But yeah, nothing. You know, it's, it's kind of funny is you mentioned Skeckers. Now that, so when I look at the logo as it's written, like in all bold and kind of slanty or whatever, the, the Skechers logo looks fine to me. But when I try to Google Skechers and it just says Skechers USA Inc. for the footwear company name, seeing it written out in just regular text looks wildly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how that works. It's weird. Yeah. Um, all right, Weston, so you're doing pretty good. I mean, we've done one, two, three, four, five, and you've gotten four correct. That's really good. We're halfway um, there. Wow! Whoa! That's a fun Living one to sing. I love prayer. singing that song. I, I, We're going to change it halfway. up. Oh, yeah, oh, change it up. No, go change ahead. It. Every time change you Changing it up. Uh, every time I hear halfway, halfway or halfway there or whatever, I always go straight to that song. Halfway there. Wow! Every time. I, that's probably right, because I feel like you and I like will do that quite that particular one quite often. <laughs> I, just, that, I, I recall us doing that many times. Um, all right, so we're going to leave the Skechers brand and probably go to the, arguably one of the biggest brands. If you want to call it a brand. I mean, it is a brand, I guess. Um, one of the highest-selling merchandise-related brands ever. We're talking Pokemon. All right. Pokemon. Weston. Catch em all. I know how to spell gotta Pokemon. Catch em all. Damn it. No. Um, <laughs> I want you to describe the colors on Pikachu's tail as you remember it. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm going to do it to you. <laughs> don't, don't do this to me. <laughs> what's, it, what's his tail look like? You got to tell me. You know, the base color is yellow, and he's got. Okay. A, does he have black stripes or no black stripes? <laughs> does he have stripes at all? He's a little yellow mouse guy. Oh, yeah. my God. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, okay? He's got a yellow zigzag tail, and I think there's black stripes on it, but I also think I'm making that up. You know, I don't think there are stripes. I think it's just a yellow zigzag tail. That's it. Matt. Matt colored. Is that your final answer? It really isn't, but it sh- it is, but it isn't. <laughs> I know, okay. I know. There's something else on the tail, and I want to say it's like stripes. It might not be. I don't think it's all the way across his tail. It's like toward the like the bottom end, like a little stripey, like a little stripey bit or whatever. But I don't. I need to know if you think there's a stripey bit there at the end or not. That's what I need to know. Uh, don't, no, <laughs> I don't. I won't tell you. <laughs> I think there's a. <laughs> I, I think there's a stripey like, bit, and I feel like I'm wrong, but I feel like there's a stripey bit. There's got to be a stripey bit, like a black stripey bit on the end of his, not necessarily on the end of his yellow tail. I'm imagining it on the bottom of his yellow tail, but it's a yellow tail. He's got a black stripey bit. Final answer. Yeah. All right. That is incorrect. I knew it was going to be incorrect, it, but like, is it just yellow? It is, well, that's the thing. So a lot of people think that there's a black stripe at the edge of his tail, like just kind of outlining the, 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 that at edge of his tail at the end. Like on there. the end? There's a, okay. There's actually brown at the base of his tail. Ah, uh, you're right. Um, so I'm I think that's why people now. mix that up. I and, knew there wasn't black on the end. I knew there wasn't black on the end because he's got black on the end of his ears. Well, I think a lot of people, what they do is they mix it up with Pichu, who does have black stripey on the tail pichu's so I not wonder if- in the original 150 get that crap out of here <laughs> well first of all you know me i don't know who's in what but but that's i just remember reading that people saying a lot of people mix that up with pichu i only know pichu because pichu is in one of the smash games <laughs> pichu, but P- pichu's whole tail is black oh that's weird i didn't know that oh the whole thing is black yeah I his, know that. pichu's whole tail is black huh I think Pichu I came about in third gen, I want to say. I don't remember exactly. Well, this one threw me off, too. I knew that I thought that there was a black stripe at the end of his tail. I thought, how could there not be? But then I guess, but but then I also didn't remember there being that little, like, brown section at the base. But, yeah, there is. Oh, and if you look um, up some of these pictures of Pikachu, depending on what you look at, yeah, the, the brown for sure I forgot about, but then some of the pictures too, if his, his tail is shaded just right, that might be where, what my brain was thinking was a stripey bit. Yeah. Um, all right, so there's one. 
gotcha. That was a good one, though. You were really debating on that one, though. That was good. I really was. Um, so let's talk my favorite snack. Those of you who listen to the Two Piece podcast, you'll know that my favorite snack is, I'm not going to say it out loud because I want, um, I don't want to give anything away here, but I will explain it so Weston knows what it is. Okay. Weston, you and I ate these together when we did the podcast at my house <laughs> and watched um, Whose Lines It Anyway. Uh, oh, is this Cheez-Its? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're going to... No! No! Is Shut it? up. Because it's not Cheez-Its. It's just Cheez-It. But we all call it Cheez-Its. That's what you're going to tell me right now, aren't you? I was going to say, is it Cheez-Its or is it Cheez-It? It's just cheese it but the company is wrong. Who makes cheese? I, I, I won't look it up right now. I'm going to con, like Procter & Gamble, right? Whoever makes cheese its I'm going to write them a, a letter of disdain to put an S or a Z, if you're feeling fancy, at the end of cheese it because it, sh- it should be cheese its I'm a Midwesterner. Yeah. We put S at the end of a lot of things, but cheese its just feels right, but I know, yep. I know it's cheese it no S. I always thought it was the Z. Like, the Z's got to be there. cheese its um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are right though. It is just cheese. It. That's so yeah, that weird. One, that one needs to be changed asap. Yeah, I would. T- I would actually message me them. That. Yeah, I would. I'm gonna look at mail it them that letter of disdain first. I would do, do that before Z, you... Yeah, they have the Z and cheese. Right. I also used to think. I I think maybe not. I don't know if I would. If I would just spell it without knowing any of this stuff, would I spell cheese without the e at the end? Like C H E E Z E, I'm not sure what I would do. Now that I'm looking at, I I bet if you had asked me to spell cheese it, I probably would have spelled cheese wrong because I don't know if I would have added the e at the end or not because they just spell it C H E E Z, and then yeah. it. I might have added the e at the end. I'm not sure if I would have got cheese Weird. Uh, right, but I knew it. I've actually heard this one before too, where it's like, oh my god, you're right. That's one of those small mind blowing things. Yep. Just jogged your memory there. Um, yeah. Okay, so. Let's talk a very infamous movie scene from the snacks to the TV. We got, um, I'm trying to think how I need to describe this. So, okay. I, have you ever seen Risky Business? No. I don't okay. think so. So, no, I, I was going to hope you did so you knew what scene I was talking about. There's a very iconic scene in Risky Business. One of the most iconic, period. Um, Tom Cruise... It's the it, it has the song in the background going da 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 da. Oh, da, da, I know da, what da, scene da, you're da, talking da. about though, because okay. he's in his like underwear sliding across the thingy and, and uh, across the floor in his socks or whatever. Yes, I want you to describe what he's wearing from head to toe. This one you don't have to be tricky. like super specific, this was, but this one's kind of tricky. Do you remember? I don't remember what it was a commercial for. Do you remember there was a commercial series for a while? Where they kept doing that scene, but it was just different people. I don't remember if it was some cleaning product because they were like sweeping. I think it was. I think it was some cleaning product, like Mister Clean or something. And they they did that with several oh, yeah. different people copying that scene for their commercial. So this is kind of tricky because I didn't see Risky Business, but I have seen those commercials. I vaguely remember that actually. So this is an interesting perspective you're coming from. <laughs> what? I'm choosing to remember is, and this could be a combination of the commercials, that scene that I've seen clips of, or any other parody that I've seen. This is a combination of all those. What I'm imagining is the the guy's wearing white socks, no pants, but like white like boxers, and then mm-hmm. a blue like kind of baggy shirt. I don't remember if it's a button down shirt, and that's why it's baggy because he's not wearing pants. I feel like maybe it was a blue button down shirt. Okay. Um any headwear no <laughs> oh I don't wow think so okay. no no headwear i don't think well, i just remember I, hair so i'm in a weird situation here let me explain why okay so you got something wrong that you weren't supposed to get wrong but then the part <laughs> that i was hoping you'd get wrong you got right <laughs> so <laughs> so here's what i mean so most people me included um, picture him with sunglasses, like with shades on. Oh, um, why? <laughs> there, there were never any shades, but that's a very common one. Um, in fact, that's parodies funny. of it, everybody wears shades. Like parodies in like television shows and stuff, most people wear sunglasses when they do that, when they mimic that scene. 
So I that's think that's so why funny. we think they're sunglasses. But he wear he's wearing white. He's not wearing blue. Uh. <laughs> so, but I'm going to give it to you because you the glasses was the thing. So I'll still give it to you. I bet um, the commercials I since I bet the commercials that I saw since they were basing on the show. I bet they didn't wear sunglasses. Didn't Parodies wear sunglasses, might have, yeah. but I bet the commercials didn't. And I'm sure somebody wore a blue shirt or something. <laughs> so your lack of familiarity with the probably the original scene helped you in this one. That was good. <laughs> Somehow, yeah. <laughs> I'll take Thank it. Thank you, Mr. Clean. If uh, that's what got... it was, I don't remember. Maybe it was Pine it's... Saw. It's the power of Pine Saw, baby. Pine Saw. I haven't even thought of that in so long. <laughs> the power of Pine Saw. Okay, we got three more left here. We're going to wrap it up. Um, this next yeah. one's apparently a pretty popular one, too, according to my research, and it's just a simple question. <laughs> Weston. Is Neil Armstrong still alive? <laughs> okay, so we I think so. <laughs> I don't remember hearing about him dying. I do know that Neil Armstrong is often confused with Lance Armstrong. Yes, that is true. And so people get like which one's which confused all the time. Uh or at least that's how I, I feel like people got that confused a lot when I was younger. Neil Armstrong, I think, is still alive. He was still doing, like, space talks and stuff for a long time. I think he's still alive. If he died, I hope it's, like, only recently. I mean, I hope he's not dead at all. But if you told me, like, oh, he's been dead and gone for 20 years, I'm going to be like, my mind's going to explode. Well, I will tell you this. He died almost 12 years ago. (laughs) What? (laughs) He died in 2012. What? Yeah. Why? Why did he die? Why'd you have he was to old, do it? man. Oh, how old uh, was he in 2012? I haven't thought was, about Neil Armstrong in a long time. He was born in 1930. Oh, Lord. Okay. So, yeah. Um, uh, and you said 2012? Yes. So, yeah. He was, like, he was, was, October, eight, he yeah. was like 82. I don't know. It depend on his yeah. birth month or whatever. That's not crazy but some, old, but old. But for some reason, and that's a, that's a big one too. And I didn't. I thought he was still alive. I thought too. But a lot of people like just kind of forget that he died. <laughs> I didn't. I uh, yeah. If I knew, like you said, I forgot. I didn't know he was born in 1930. But I guess that first makes of all, sense. Because first of all, you know that that was on the news. It's Neil Armstrong. Like we had to have like seen this. How could we have for, like forgotten that? I don't know. It's weird. It's Neil Armstrong. Huge. You know. Big part of american history so i don't know i mean i guess that explains why i haven't thought about him in a long time <laughs> <That> makes <laughs> sense now wow um okay so i don't want to give too much away so let's ask it first we got two more we're gonna go back to logos for a second weston so the fruit of the loom logo oh yeah all right does it have a cornucopia or is it just the fruit? I think it's just the fruit. I, I'm trying to. I, I think you're going to ask me what fruit because it's like an apple and like grapes. And I'm like, I, was there a banana? I don't remember. No, there's no cornucopia that I can think of. Dang, you said that so confidently. That was a yeah. tough one for me. <laughs> I thought there was a cornucopia with it. We had like we had fruit you... of the loom in the family, so uh, I, I, I'm familiar so with the why. logo. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, you said cornucopia. Was, I'm like, I never had Thanksgiving vibes from Fruit of the Loom underwear. I thought so, uh, if you look at the logo, I mean, I guess to you it won't. But like I looked at like because the page I went to to research this, it showed the fake logo and the real one. And I thought there's no way it doesn't have it. But I guess it doesn't. Oh, yeah. When um, I Google it, when I, I just I just Googled Fruit of the Loom, the second image that came up in my image search was the Know Your Meme. And it's got a picture of it with a cornucopia and a picture of it without. Yep. The cornucopia one looks so weird to me. I couldn't remember what the fruits were. Like, yeah, grapes, whatever the ye- little... Ye- I knew there was yellow in it. What are the little yellow berries or whatever those are supposed to be? Because I was thinking banana. I'm like, I, banana feels wrong. I thought you were going to ask me the, for the fruits, and I was going to be screwed. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not even sure. I remember the grapes specifically. Yeah. But, um, okay. Well, good job. We got one more here. It's fruit of the loom, back- not fruit of the cornucopia. Get it right. It just it looked right to me. It looked right because <laughs> you see those old paintings, you know, and it's got that, and it's got the fruit and all that. And um, okay, the, we're going to Disney. The iconic line from Snow White, the one about the mirror. 
What is that line as you remember it? Not are you talking about um, the mirror, j- mirror on the wall one? Mm-hmm. Like mirror, mirror. It's, it's it's oh god, I don't even know know if I remember it. Period. But it's like mirror, mirror on the wall. Uh, who is the fairest of them all? Some something like that. Is that the that's roughly the line you're looking for, right? Is that yes. scene? Um, yes. That's ex- yeah. That uh-huh. is it. Is it just that simple? I almost feel like there's more to it. Maybe la- mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me I'm pretty. You're pretty. Um, <laughs> Are you the mirror on the wall? <laughs> Alex, I can't take your word for it. You're like a thousand bajillion miles away. For, you can't see me right now. Uh, well, you sound pretty. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Oops. Who is the fairest ah. of them all? I, I feel like it's not that. I feel like there's something... Like, that's too straightforward. But I'm going to well, go with it, because I can't think of what else it would be. So I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to land on that. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Okay. I don't feel like that's right, but I don't... It's been a long time since I've seen that movie anyway, that I'm not right. going to be surprised, probably. Well, Unless you tell me it's something be, that doesn't rhyme. I was going to say, prepare to not be surprised. It's... The second half was right. The first half is... Magic mirror on the wall. Oh. It was never mirror, mirror on the wall, even though we all say it is. It's magic mirror on the wall. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? That but everybody that thinks makes it's sense. mirror, mirror. It kind of makes sense for like for some reason it makes sense because it's just like that's what it is. It's not. It's not a mirror, mirror. It's it's a magic. It's just a magic mirror on the magic mirror on the wall. I care so little for you. I didn't give you a name at all. It just right, exactly. It does that makes, make that, sense. That makes but sense. We've just said the same thing for so long. Um, there's a couple other like cute ones from like movies that I thought were so like it was too specific that I wasn't going to do. Like one of them was um, like with Forrest Gump. Um, life is like a box of chocolates. He he said life was like a box of chocolates. Like that's okay. That's like that's kind of I don't know. Hair is a little bit. That's what I thought too, but that was one of them on the list. Like, okay, so, um, so I I, I skipped those, but you did a good job, the, Weston. Um, the famous one me. that I always remember, and I always forget how it goes, is the Star Wars one. The oh yes, remember, you know what I'm talking about, right? Where it's like it's not yeah. like Luke, I am your father. It's something else, or I don't remember no. what the line is. <sighs> I was gonna pull that one too, and I, but I thought you would have known that, so I didn't pull it. But yeah, it's not. Luke, I am your father. It's like, it's totally different. Hold on. Luke, yeah, I can't I remember am. exactly what it is. I know it's not what we always think it is. Oh, it's no, it's, uh, I am your father. It doesn't. He doesn't say Luke. He doesn't say Luke. Yeah, that's right. No, I am your father. It's so weird because like that's how we all remember it. Oh, here's another one. Just just here's another bonus one. Um, what color is C three PO? Uh, I think he changes from when he's in the prequel. I think he changes, but uh, C three PO I think is that gold, that like bronzy gold color. Is that the only color that he has? No, because I think the most part. A, I think I think there's a point in time where he's like silver. I think he changes to gold, unless I'm making that up. So you know, uh, you know, obviously you know that I'm not. I don't really know much about Star Wars, but apparently he always has his left leg is always silver. Oh, his left leg's always silver? Ah, Or maybe his right leg. Well, one of his legs is always silver, but the rest of him is gold. That might, yeah, you know what? That probably would have got me. I'm not, oh yeah, shoot. I'm not a big enough, I like Star Wars. I'm not a big enough nerd to have probably even caught that. That's hilarious. I, yeah, I always, uh, if you would have asked me as kind of an outsider, I just would have, he's gold. He always, I mean, most of them is, but yeah, I guess as that one part of his leg isn't. Because I can't remember. I think there's a movie where he loses his leg, and that's why it's silver. So he replaces it oh. or something. I think. God, it's been a while since I've watched the, the older movies. Well, there you have it. All right. Weston, I, I started to lose count because you were doing so good, but I think you got eight right out of the 11, which is really good. So yeah, good I only job. missed like two or three. Yeah. So. 
You Good all job. will have to tell us in the comments, wherever that is. You'll have to tell us in the comments how many I got right. We weren't counting. We weren't <laughs> counting completely, and you also need to tell us which ones fooled you, and be honest. Don't lie and said you got all of them, because you didn't. Don't lie. Um, Don't speaking of lie. lying, Weston, where can people find you on the internet? Well, now I feel like I have to lie. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of lying, Weston, where can we find you? Uh, YouTube.com forward slash smosh. It's like you could find me at alex2get.net. Um, I'm, I'm. At, yeah, I guess I could have done that. I could have been you. <laughs> I, I just released an album, everybody. Um, <laughs> you can find me at westonhasty.com. That's my uh, website where you can find the stuff that I do. Uh, come watch some video game let's plays on YouTube, Magic Man Mo, um, and say hi to me on X at Weston Hasty. There, I said I said do X. It. X. Do it. It gets a little more comfortable every time. Oh, I just wait. By the time this episode comes out, it'll be something else entirely. I'm going to be like, "Well, there you go." I wouldn't be surprised with with that climate over there. You know, just I, f- I feel like it, there's always something yeah, it's going on. Pretty muggy. Um, <laughs> you still getting hit with that heat wave? It, or is it no, it, now? it broke. It's cooler now. It's still warm, but it's cooler now. I think we only got to seventy odd something today, or maybe we got to eighty. I didn't. I didn't really go outside today. <laughs> That's not it might have reached eighty. It might not have. Um, you can uh, you can find me, as Weston said. You can find me at alexdeket.net. I I did release an album. You should check that out. You can listen to it directly on the website, which is cool. Um, so just go to alexdeket.net. You can listen to that. Listen to other stuff I do too. It's all right there. So just go go dig it. You can even Alex Deket can be your one stop shop. Be- did I say .com or .net? I feel like I just said .com, but I guess I said .net. You know what? I don't so, know. It's alexduquette.net, everybody. Alexduquette.net. I just said it, when I said it really fast because I'll speak fast and sometimes I'll throw things off. So it can be your one-stop shop, though, because you can listen to Profoundish on there, too. Go to alexduquette.net slash Profoundish. Check it out, man! It's all right there! But then go to, yeah, go to, go to Weston's site, too, though, if you could. Thanks. And Profoundish itself. Make sure you follow us. At all the places yeah. we do stuff, we're on social media platforms. We're on, we're on TikTok, we're on Instagram, profound, at Profoundish Pod. Dig it, enjoy it. And then also, anywhere you in, consume the, the, the main show, please uh, send your likes and your comments and your hearts and your thumbs ups and your, and your subscribes. Anywhere you enjoy it, we do appreciate that. And continue the conversation with us. If you have any fun bike stories or any fun Mandela effect things you'd like to share, share them with us. We'd love to continue the chats and uh that's all for now folks ta-ta for now turn up for what okay that's what i was wondering you're going at yeah turn up for what weston's been vaguely singing very popular tunes earlier he was doing a (laughs) but he's doing it fast we still don't know what he's Sounds like, 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 like a Ricky Martin song or something. Just cool. jazzing it up a little bit, putting my own stank <laughs> on it. You know what I'm saying? A little stank. A little stank. Right, well, we'll, we'll stank you guys next week. How about that? Yeah.